you have a nine month old baby. Can you believe it? Your baby has officially been earthside longer than they were growing inside you. How do you feel about that? When I've had a nine month old baby, I have to say, there were mixed emotions. You're really happy, aren't you, that your baby's growing up and it's amazing to see them grow and develop, but knowing that you're leaving behind that newborn phase and that you won't return there is kind of bittersweet. He's doing so well at standing up, aren't you? He prefers to stand up than sit down now, which is a slight problem because he's always crawling up onto me every time I sit down on the floor, which makes it a little difficult to do anything, doesn't it? He's just not quite got to that stage where he's cruising across things yet. Although we've been practicing, haven't we? Bye, let me show you. Getting a toy and then putting it on the piece of furniture, which then in theory should mean <laughs> he has to move to get it although this is probably not a good example because the footstool is a bit too small but works quite well on the sofa at nine months old your baby certainly will be doing lots of new and exciting things one of the things that they probably will love to do now is stand up now this might mean that they're standing holding on to you their favorite little climbing frame or they may be holding on to a piece of furniture yeah It doesn't mean that they will be standing independently, although you may see within the next few months or even month that your baby starts to stand up just for a few seconds independently without you holding on to them. That's absolutely fantastic and great. But again, as with all these videos, don't worry if your baby isn't doing that yet, they will get there in their own time. If you do see that your baby is starting to want to stand up and pull up onto things, then having things around that they can pull up onto is really useful. So things like a coffee table or a footstool, something that's quite low that they can pull themselves up onto and something that's not going to move. So for example, not a computer desk chair that's got wheels that when they pull up onto it it will move because obviously that can be dangerous you can use yourself as well if you want to or if you've got a pickler triangle or climbing frame or if christmas is coming up depending on when you're watching this video or if you're thinking about first birthday presents then it can be a really really great thing to buy we have one and both of our boys absolutely love it if you don't already sign with your baby, then now is a great time to start because at nine months old, your baby will start to sign back and respond to the signs that you are making. Now you can start baby sign language from birth, from newborn, you don't have to. And it obviously can be beneficial because your baby has lots of time to take on the new signs, but don't worry if you haven't started yet. Now is as good a time as any to start and actually one of the best times in a way because your baby will really be able to start to understand and respond to those signs. When you see your baby sign back to you for the first time, it's amazing because it often comes before they have any speech or words. So it's really nice that you can actually start to communicate with each other. Rupert's first sign was milk. Finley's first sign was duck. There are loads of different signs that you can teach your baby. And if you want to know more, if you want to learn them yourself, then I will link my baby signing playlist for you up here so you can go and have a look. Now, mirrors won't be anything new to your baby at nine months old. We know that babies love to look at themselves in mirrors. They're a great tool to use, brilliant toy. You don't have to have a baby mirror. You can just use a regular mirror. But something special happens at nine months. Your baby will start to know that the baby that they are seeing in the mirror is actually themselves because up until now, your baby has thought that the baby that they can see in the mirror is a different baby. Hi, Finley. Hi, Finley. Hello, Hello. me. So at nine months, they start to get that self-awareness that they are looking at themselves in the mirror. You could test this by putting a funny hat on your baby's head or something else so that when they're looking in the mirror, they can see and have a go at taking it off. It can really help with their brain development to do fun activities like that. Your nine month old will absolutely love looking at books. 
most babies, if not all babies, love books. And at nine months old, they will start to be able to look at them somewhat independently and have a go at turning or folding the pages over. For this to be really helpful for your baby, it does help if you have board books, chunky ones with thick pages, if you use maybe books that have felt flaps. I've talked a lot before about the Nosy Crow books. If you're in the UK, you can get them from most supermarkets. I think they sell them internationally on Amazon as well. And they're brilliant because babies can do the flaps, turn the pages without having to worry about ripping anything. They're really great books as well if you want to just put them in their cot while you go and get something done. Or maybe in the morning if they're waking up early, just having that book there so that they can have a look at it. You know that nothing going to get ripped or spoiled can be really helpful. At nine months old your baby will love to copy you. They just adore you so much and they want to do everything that you do. They're just like your little mimic and you can have fun and turn this into a game for your baby. So you can have a go at doing things like tapping out a tune on the table. Now your baby won't do the exact same tune obviously, but they will have a go at tapping as well. You could do blowing raspberries, making silly sounds, sticking out your tongue, lots of different things, especially with your face. They seem to really, really enjoy that. Babies respond very well to faces. The reason copying is such a great skill for your baby is it's actually a pre cursor to talking and conversation. If you think about the way a conversation works, one person says something and they pause and then the other person says something back. So you're prepping your baby by copying for that back and forth repartee of a conversation. If you want to find out more about your baby's development month by month, then click onto this playlist here. I have done videos for every month of your baby's development. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you very much for watching this one, everybody, and I will speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.